Hey guys, it's Mikey Chan. When we think of Romania, the first thing that comes to mind, or at least for me, is vampires, specifically Dracula. But there's more to Romania than these blood-sucking beings. In fact, Romania is home to one of the strangest rock formations ever, the Trovins. There exists a museum called the Trovins Museum Natural Reserve in the south of Romania, outside the village of Kosteski. In this museum, you can find the Trovins were strange living stones that can grow and even move. The museum has been commissioned to protect these strange living stones since 2004 and currently hold some of the biggest trovins in the world. Trovins is a synonym for the German term Sandstein Konkretionen, which means concrete sand. And the name was introduced by the Romanian naturalist M. Mergosi in his work The Tertiary in Austenia. Trovins are supposedly sandstone concretions that grow or move and even multiply as if they are alive. They usually have smooth and edgeless shapes and are cylindrical, nodular, and spherical. Trovins develop these inconsistent shapes as they grow and multiply due to irregular cement secretion. The weight of trovins ranges from a few grams to several tons, and they can grow from a few millimeters to as large as 10 meters. The weird thing is that some of the tallest trovins were actually quite small some years ago. Apparently, the smaller they are, the faster they grow, kind of like kids. Another strange thing about these rocks is that they also have ellipsoidal and spherical rings when cut just like tree trunks. Not only that, they they can also move like the sliding rocks in Death Valley. For example, researchers photographed a troven for around 14 days to see its average amount of steps within those days. And at the end of the experiment, they found that the stone moved by 2.5 millimeters. Although that's a very small amount of movement, it does prove that the stones are capable of walking on their own. Academics, however, are skeptical about the trovens walking, but they don't deny the possibility of such movement. They think that one explanation to trovens walking is the cooling or heating of the soil that may cause the stones to move. In other words, they think outside factors are affecting the stone and the stone itself is not actually moving. In regards to their origins, there are many theory 